Welcome to our old truck. My name is Ralph. In today's video I would like to give you an update about the things that I've been working on on the truck and also show you the build of the outside kitchen. Don't worry, I will not bore you with cooking coffee in my new kitchen. I've been working on the pass-through for a while now and yesterday I started gluing in the frame for the flexible tunnel. Um, my neighbor was nice enough to borrow me his uh, clamps uh, one-handed clamps. They're very nice. Thank you very much Patrick and also thank you very much Matis for bringing them over and thinking about me. Once the pass-through is finished I will probably make another video about it. And another modification I did is this um, holder for the pop top. Um, that has not worked uh, as I wanted to. I think it's actually dangerous. I can probably cut my fingers off with this uh, contraption. So that will likely go away again or will be uh, severely modified. And uh, I will also make a video about the pop top uh, in the future. I also covered the walls. It probably will not stay this way. Most likely we will put some wallpaper on the area that still will be visible after putting all the furniture in. It's always good to have wood on the wall for putting screws in or some nails or whatever. It's uh, easier to hang up something. Now we're coming to the outside kitchen that I made here. Uh, it's made out of parts that I had laying around in the house, therefore it was free for me. However, I have to be honest with you, uh, if you would not have the parts laying around, uh, it would be quite expensive. So it's not something that I would recommend uh, building for everyone, but I made, uh, uh, for me, an easy and cheap uh, kitchen, pull-out kitchen. As a base, I used this aluminum tray that came with the fire truck. I put a little gas stove in here for propane gas. For that I had to modify the old stove a little bit. Um, as you can see here, I fear the CE certification is kind of void uh, now. Bummer. Here we also have an induction stove. Um, probably will not stay, there, stay here. Um, we use it off and on when we have uh, shore power, enough shore power to, to run it. I've tried it with the power from the truck. Uh, it runs up to 1200 uh, watts, so in case of emergency it would work. It probably would also keep, cook a meal. The battery is uh, powerful enough to cook a meal. But after that, uh, most likely there would not be too much power left. The most cooking my wife will probably do on the, the gas stove. She also has an Instapot. Oh, I shouldn't say that. She also has a pressure cooker and she likes to use that uh, quite often and makes good meals with it. I basically took the two pull-outs and welded them on top of each other. Of course, this contraption was not uh, really stable at that point. And uh, in order to stabilize it a little bit, I put another pull-out rail here. Guided with this roller down here. Hard to see now. Future extensions may be putting one of those or several of those uh, little drawers in. I could imagine going them like, like this. There's plenty of space uh, below there. Um, but we will but we will try it first as it is and uh, see where we get with it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and if you liked it, please consider subscribing.